What up, morning guys? Welcome to today's video. It is scorching out. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. You should have brought two of them out. This is my turkey. This is Sophie's turkey. And he's a boy, so I Sophie said, I don't really want turkeys. I don't care about turkeys. Poof, Sophie takes my turkey. This is my turkey. I know. This one you dropped, so he's mine. Anyway, two turkeys are doing really well today. We put them in with the chickens, and they are doing so good. The other ones are doing much better than yesterday, but they still need a little bit more time in the incubator. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. We cherish every single baby animal on our farm. We love every single one of them. <laughs> He's smaller than the grass. He's actually smaller than the grass. He's eating bugs. He's eating bugs. See, he's like the best looking one. Yeah, we brought them out. We brought one other one out. They're so super cute. I'm so excited about turkeys. Hey, little boy. So we think this one's a girl. Oh, is that yours? Yeah. Oh, well, we think this one's a boy, and it's Sophie's. She's trying to think of a really good name for him. Look at how cute he is. He's so, so cute. And then uh, this is mine, apparently. <laughs> but then we have two others. Apparently Molly likes them too. <laughs> She's like, I love you chickens. So uh, today someone was coming to pick up something and they were like, hey, we're gonna come at like 1.30. And I was like, great. Sophie and I are gonna head to the other barn and we're gonna go and visit her horse. Like we haven't seen her in a few days. <laughs> We miss her and we want her to know that she's gonna be ours. So then I wake up this morning and we were gonna get up early and we were gonna go. So I get up this morning and the lady's like, hey, we're gonna come at 11. And I'm like, okay, great. We'll just come, we'll just go to the barn after you leave, like no big deal. So we go, we do all of our stuff. We don't go to the barn. We like just hang out, do whatever. And then just before 11, she messages me back and says, hey, we're gonna come at 1.30. We'll probably be there for two. And I'm like, oh, our whole day is ruined. But we're still going to the barn. We are, we're still going to the barn. So uh, the old Laura would have been like stressed out and been like, oh my gosh, our whole day is ruined. This is awful, but you know what? Who cares? There goes that. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby! So uh, last night I was trimming everybody up and I decided to give Ellie her very first ever summer cut. She's a little bit choppy, but hey, I'm no professional. Ellie. Anyways, Ruby. you guys know that yeah. she's always in the water trough, always. <laughs> You're a mess. She's always in the, Ellie. She's always in the water trough every single summer and I wanted to kind of try and avoid that this year. She runs hot. So instead of leaving those so cute little legs on her, I love her having legs, fur on her legs. Instead, I decided. <laughs> Ruby, <laughs> Ellie. Ruby pushed it with her nose. That was Ellie. I decided to shave her all the way off except for her head and uh, she's not quite done yet. I still, I just like to give her breaks in between. But anyway, I want her to be nice and cold, cool this summer instead of her run the risk of drowning <laughs> by jumping in the water troughs. Ellie. Ellie. Good girl, be nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> so... Ruby and Ellie both got haircuts. Ruby's is not, I didn't take it all the way down. I just trimmed her. She looks cute. And my, Ellie got this biggest shave of her life. Ellie, Ellie, <laughs> listen, you can be its mom, you just Can't have to it. not eat it. Hi, you wanna come up? They're so cute. 
I wonder if we'll be able to notice like their patterns, their coat pattern, their fur pattern, because you yours looks totally different than mine. Mine is like super colored and yours has more, <laughs> mine has a lot of black and yours has a lot of white. So Sam and Gabby are changing her winter tires into her summer tires. Let's go look at her summer tires. <laughs> I love your gloves, <laughs> your riding gloves. They're not mine, they're too big. Oh, oh. did you find them on the shelf oh, in there? Oh, sweat melted them off. I got dirt, like black stuff on my hands from moving the tires. Why are you guys dressed like winter, man? I'm wearing a hat, it's not winter. She's got a summer hat on. Sam makes Gabby help her with his car. Oh, you guys found, you found the shade, did you? Hi, baby. <laughs> How are you doing? She's like, I want to come with you now. Not yet. It's so nice over here. Oh my gosh, it's glorious. When I was young, I was super the opposite of laid back. I was not a laid back kid. I was like not even born laid back. I must have been so hard to parent. <laughs> but the last time my grandkids were here, it was just for a day visit and my three-year-old granddaughter she thought that she was staying overnight because most of the time when she comes she sleeps overnight so when it was time for her mom to take her home she was way overtired way overtired and that's my trigger too and she was freaking out so bad she was like in the car crying her eyes out saying like i just don't understand she was so emotional i just don't understand why i'm not staying like why is my mom not leaving me here like why isn't she just leaving and just leave me here and I was like, Brooklyn and I were trying to explain to her like, you know, you have to go home, but you'll come next time. And the next time you come, we'll sleep outside. We'll sleep in the barn, in the trailer. And then she was like, why, why would you say that? Like people don't sleep outside or sleep in barns. That's crazy. Like she was so irrational because she was so overtired. And that was me when I was little. And it took me a really long time to outgrow that. But for my most of my adult life, I've always made sure I had enough sleep so that I would not be like that because I know that I can get insane. So you're probably thinking, what in the heck is the point, Laura? What's your point here? So my point is, even though that lady messed up my whole entire day, I'm just gonna go with it. I just go with the flow now more than ever before. I just have realized so many things and I've been able to turn myself around and not be and become way more easygoing. I think on our channel a lot of people think that I'm more easygoing than than not easygoing and the truth is I wasn't and I had to work to get there and so the point of this whole story is no matter who you are no matter what you are even if you were born that way Happiness is truly a choice. Like people say happiness is a choice. And for years, I never thought that it was. I thought everything had to be right and to be perfect for me to be happy. But the truth is you can just let go of so many things and, and be happy despite your circumstances. And I just wanted to share that with you guys again. Like happiness is a choice, even when things aren't perfect and even when things aren't right, even when you want, even when you want more, you can still find beauty and amazing in what you have and choose happiness. So I'm just gonna choose happiness. I wonder what this pot is here for. I have the strangest, oh, it's not a pot. But the strangest suspicion, somebody put that here so that nothing can climb through. She really wants to come with me though. But she's in the shade and I want her to be able to find shade. I want her to learn how to stay alive out in the sun in the shade. He's following you? Yeah. Well, before you get sidetracked. <laughs> so cute. I love them. We're a turkey family now. I got these shoes the other day. They're just like flip flops. They're pink, like a light pink. They're kind of like Crocs, but they're thinner. And I'm obsessed. They are so comfortable. I'm gonna try and keep them clean. So not wear them around the farm. So that when I go places, I can wear them. But I'm wearing them to another farm. <laughs> but to be fair, these are kind of like slippers, I love them. But to be fair, I'm not gonna like go in the horse field or go like, Sophie's doing all that stuff. We spent an hour and a half at the barn and I'm obsessed. Like I love this horse so much. Like I can't even describe to you, okay? She's beautiful. Like she's stunningly beautiful. She's, everybody says she's so pretty. Like she's a pretty horse, but I don't care about that. It's her personality. She's really loving like she's really she attaches so fast like she sees sophie coming and she spends a lot of time in the shelter she's like storm if it's hot out she goes in the shelter 
but as soon as she sees Sophie, she hightails it to the gate, like, I don't know, there, and then, anyway, so we walked around inside for a little while in the arena, and played with her a little, and brushed her, and groomed her, and just did all the things, and she, she just, like, she just, I don't even know how to describe her, like, wait till you guys see her, she just, like, I feel like all the things that we spend so many so much time on bonding with our boys like Finn and and Chino like when we got them it feels like we you know getting them to follow us in the arena and getting them to play with us and getting them to spend time with us this horse just does it like she just does it she's the most lovely horse like I don't know I feel so blessed and so lucky and I didn't at first I was so nervous at first and it, but now holy heck like like, I'm obsessed with her. I just video her I'm, on my phone. I, like, take pictures of her. Like, so many of you guys said that a horse would come and heal our heart. This horse is healing my heart in a huge way. And the craziest thing is, Gabby walked in the arena, and usually our horses don't, like, only Gabby's horses go up to her. Nobody else's horses. She, her ears went forward, and she turned around, and she went up to Gabby, and was so excited to see Gabby. I don't know. I feel like this horse is definitely meant to be. I cannot wait to introduce you guys. Hopefully, it's going to happen. Like, we're going to take over her this week. Just finishing up, like, vetting stuff, and it's a long weekend. So, we are home. We're going to have such a yummy supper. Uh, but I have to go get my pig. I tried to bring her up with me before we left, but she was gone. I don't know where she is. But I'm worried about her getting sunburned. Oh, I see her, I see her. Come on! She looks so unhappy. She's ready. <laughs> and there's Ellie. Everybody's so excited to see us. When you come home to a pig though, it's literally the best thing. She's like, let's play, friends! It's literally the first day that it's been over 80 degrees today. The first actual summery day. So Sam fixed this up for me so I can start moving chickens outside, but he thinks it's going to be too hot. Oh, that's so perfect. Wait, do you think the chickens would be able to get through that? Or do you think nothing could get in? But anyway, I'm going to put the food and the water in here. And so it's not near their bedding. Oh, and he took out the rug that was in there. Put in a new light bulb. But I still, because it's a heater, I still think it's going to be too hot. I'm not going to lie. I'm too afraid to use it. So today got super messed up with the people that were supposed to come today. They messed up my whole day. But we just went with it. Oh, everybody's itchy. Why are you guys playing with this door? I don't understand. What are you doing with your mask? What? You're not a Cyclops, Penny. Come here, let me take it off. Hold on. Oh. What in the world did you do? It's coming off. <laughs> You're gonna have to suffer for a couple hours. I keep on telling you guys how like Penny hates storms. She doesn't want anything to do with them. She squeals every time he comes by. Well, today when I was going about the farm doing all my chores this morning, you will not believe what I saw. I'm going to post a picture here. I took pictures. Penny was pretty much making out with Storm. And uh, judging by her back end, she's for sure in heat. I'm going to have to give her a wash. We need a bigger rock for in here. All right, let me go get a bucket. And I'm going to give you a bit of a wash because you are smelling disgusting. You are looking disgusting. She's like, I love you though, Laura. I'm so excited for our new horse to come. See how Penny is kind of like interested and fun and flirty when she's in heat that other horse is like a hundred times more fun and flirty even when she's not in heat come here honey she's stuck i think she's stuck come here honey come on oh my goodness nope <laughs> she's not stuck i literally picked up my phone to phone sophie to come out and she put her hair back in but everybody's hot it's really hot she really wants a treat. I should have brought out some carrots. I got some carrots when we were at the store. We got so many comments when we built this area of the barn, how it's not like a traditional barn. It doesn't have like a bunch of stalls and cement floors and 
I know we did it differently, but we did it specifically so that our horses could be happy and happier. And I love it. Like I love that when it gets so hot that they can't breathe outside, they can come in and get out of the sun. Some people put their horses outside in the nighttime and leave them in during the day. This barn gets hot in the daytime. It's on the top of a hill right in the middle of the sun. So it's just as hot in the inside during the day as it is at night. Well, actually it cools down at night. So we don't do that. We don't do reverse turnout. But you look so cute. Doesn't she look so cute today? I wish you were in heat every day. Just a nice girl. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is it for today's video. Our new, we have two, maybe three new things coming next week. Two for sure, hopefully. You never know what will happen, but two things coming next week. Super excited about them both. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Um, but we still have another holiday day. We still have a whole new day of a holiday. Even though I didn't get everything I wanted done today, done, I'm okay with it because I have a whole other day to get it done. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. I cannot wait until we have another horse here or maybe we're gonna keep it boarded for a little while so that she can go and ride. That's another thing that we were thinking about, like how life could just change in an instant. We're gonna get this horse, and then if we keep it boarded, Sophie's gonna have to go there at least three, maybe four times a week to ride and to spend time with her and to bring her in out of the field, and things are changing for this summer, and I'm so excited. Don't you know that you